Lee G. Ballman, Reframing Organizations, Artistry, Choice, and Leadership. In this engaging summary of Reframing Organizations, Artistry, Choice, and Leadership, Lee G. Ballman presents fresh perspectives on how individuals and teams can thrive in the modern organizational landscape. Delve into the pitfalls of oversimplifying complex problems, discover the transformative power of self-managing teams, and learn valuable insights from companies like Southwest Airlines, Costco, and Whole Foods. This summary equips readers with practical strategies to deal with change, achieve a smooth transition in leadership roles, cultivate a strong company culture, and maintain strong ethical values in the face of challenges. Tackling Complex Problems Problem solving is an unavoidable skill. However, people tend to oversimplify complex problems, leading to errors and mistakes. Simplification can occur in two ways, either by focusing solely on critical information, which leads to ignoring potentially useful data, or by relying on prejudices instead of analyzing the matter objectively. This oversimplification of complex problems can be dangerous for individuals and companies. President Donald Trump's tweets about President Obama wiretapping his phones are a prime example of simplified prejudice. Neuroscientist David Eagleman's study also revealed that people tend to disregard information that challenges their established worldview. To become a successful problem solver, one must question their beliefs and analyze complex problems objectively. The Power of Self-Managing Teams Companies should consider operating with self-managing teams, where members make collective decisions and set goals. This structure enables high efficiency, fast decision-making, and flexibility in tackling challenges. Companies like Whole Foods Market have enjoyed considerable growth using this approach, allowing teams to decide everything from product sourcing to salaries. The authors suggest that teams make decisions collectively, elect leaders, and deal with customer complaints themselves. Self-managed teams ensure that ideas stay fresh and decision-making is successful, which ultimately contributes to the company's success. Building a Strong Team – Lessons from Successful Companies Building a successful business requires a strong team that can keep customers happy, and this can only be achieved by knowing what exactly the customers want. Southwest Airlines and Enterprise, two companies known for excellent customer service, have unique employee hiring strategies tailored to the sort of employees who possess the soft skills critical for excellent customer service and team building. Keeping employees happy and suitably rewarded is also critical for any company's success. Companies like Google and Southwest Airlines offer good salaries and benefits such as generous pension schemes and internal promotion structures to retain employees and foster increased productivity. Companies like Costco also pay their employees more and have twice as productive employees as their competitors, providing evidence that employee reward and retention can drive a company's financial success. Securing Jobs In a modern market economy, job security no longer seems guaranteed. Nevertheless, American companies like Lincoln Electric have avoided firing employees for years at a time, even when facing economic challenges. Rather than firing a single person, the company retrained its mechanical workers to become salespeople and grow its customer base. Other corporations have found that connecting employees to company profits by offering employee stock ownership plans, ESOPs, and granting them a role in company management also secures job satisfaction. Despite the unpredictability of job security today, there are still methods available to businesses to keep their workforce happy and committed. The Power of Myth and Heroes in Company Success Our beliefs about a company can affect its success. The right use of myth and hero figures can motivate employees and create a collective dream. Southwest Airlines' myth of simplicity and accessibility contributes to its success. Promoting hero figures, such as Mary Barra, can also improve a company's reputation and profits. The Art of Managing Conflicts in a New Environment Starting a new managerial position can be a daunting experience, especially when conflicts and grudges arise. In the fictional case of Cindy Marshall, she faces a challenging situation as the new manager in the customer service section of her company. 
Her predecessor, Blazon Bill Howard, is being let go, and the secretary and some employees have clear loyalties to him. Marshall must think quickly and show her authority without showing deference to Howard. By introducing herself as the new manager and offering to sit in on a meeting, she manages to diffuse tensions and navigate the conflicts of a new work environment. Lessons from Successful and Failed Executives The importance of company culture in executive transitions and leadership is emphasized in this book summary. Only a small percentage of companies successfully handle transitions without affecting employee satisfaction and performance, emphasizing the need for new executives to adapt to the company culture. The case of 3M's failed strategy under CEO James McNerney is presented to showcase the importance of supporting creativity in a company known for innovation and the adverse effects of a rigid approach. On the other hand, Successful executive Alan Mulally at Ford Motor Company won over stakeholders and took customer preferences into account while creating a vision for the future, making him one of the company's most successful CEOs. Ethical Guidelines for Business Success Starbucks and Medtronic are examples of companies that thrived by valuing their ethical standards while others, such as Siemens, were jeopardized by the lack of it. When Howard Schultz, chairman of Starbucks, sensed that the company was at risk of losing its soul, he took action to preserve its ethical guidelines while Siemens compromised its ethics and suffered legal cases and reputational damage. Medtronic is another company that benefited from prioritizing ethics, its value grew from $1 billion to $60 billion under CEO Bill George's leadership who not only fired an executive caught with a secret Swiss bank account but also affirmed the company's zero tolerance of unethical behavior to the media. These examples prove that not only does ethics pay off in the long run, but it also creates a trustworthy and respected company image. As we conclude this summary, we see that the key to achieving success in organizations lies in embracing complexity fostering teamwork and innovation, and balancing a strong company culture and ethics. By learning from examples of companies like Whole Foods, Southwest Airlines, and Medtronic, leaders can navigate challenges more effectively, adapt to new roles with greater ease, and create lasting positive impacts on their teams. Ultimately, following the expert advice and real-world examples in reframing organizations, you can transform your leadership approach and cultivate an organization that thrives in the face of change and complexity.